All right, I'm just doing an update on this 125 here. Uh, we recently had albino bristlenose um, eggs that they stashed in the driftwood and that uh, the male was chilling in there watching the eggs and then watching the babies. Um, but I believe that uh, everything's hatched and I seen the male out feeding and they don't normally do that too often when they have uh, babies to watch. So I'm assuming that uh, the babies either got eaten or died off one way or other. However, because of them, they were stashed right up in here. So I was only able to do partial water changes. So my normal Sunday routine is a 50 to 80% water change. I haven't been able to do that because of the eggs. I haven't wanted to disturb them. So today we are doing a large water change. And the reason I'm doing a large water change was because there is a lot of fish in here. And I have a huge filter underneath it, big sump filter. But there was an excess of nutrients because I haven't been able to do the large water changes. So what I'm experiencing over the last few weeks, if you look, I can show you. There's hair algae growing on all my crypts, a good portion. And uh, it's because of the excess nutrients. There's big guy. That's my big pleco. He's 14 inches. I've had him for about four or five years now. But yes, he doesn't help with the nutrients level. He poops a lot, and the angels poop a lot, and all the other fish poop a lot. So that's why I do large weekly water changes every Sunday, 50 to 80 percent. And I have to do those because there is so much um, nutrients and fish poop in the water. You know, and as you can tell, my water's pretty clear. The pump's been off and I fed them, so it's cloudy right now. But normally this tank is pretty much crystal clear. Is because tank husbandry is very important in a successful aquarium. So I am trying to reduce all of the nutrients by doing large water changes to prevent and stop any of the hair algae that might be wanting to take hold. Because of the big guy in there, I can't really put a whole mess of plants. They just end up floating. Now these have all spread on their own. These roots are very well established. And every once in a while that big guy will kick one up. So I'm minimal on the plants. I'm hoping what's in here will spread more. I'm just using Eco Complete with um, a mixture of uh, fluorite and uh, it's been in there for about four four years now and it seems to still be containing nutrients so I haven't ran into any issues with it so I like it I would dirt it but with a 14 inch placosimus it would just be a muddy mess so that's why I try to use a sand substrate or a lava rock substrate so that uh, he doesn't stir the silt up so other than that, that's where we're at. Large water changes, 70 to 80% trying to cut down the nutrients because of uh, all of the fish load in there. And uh, the eggs weren't allowing me to do full water changes. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, all of the hair algae on the crypts will be gone. So there's the 125. Happy tanks, everybody.